morning, boys and girls. Today, we are gonna be drawing self-portraits. A self-portrait is a picture of you. So everybody's is gonna look a little bit different, just like we all look a little bit different. Not only are we gonna be drawing self-portraits of ourselves, we are gonna be drawing ourselves as the kings and queens of kindergarten. So, follow along. Here's what you're gonna need. First things first, a piece of paper that you're gonna turn horizontal. That means it looks like a garage door. A garage door is really wide. So make sure your paper is wide. You're gonna also want either a black marker or a black crayon, something that you can do outlines with, that you can draw with, okay? Then you're gonna want some crayons or markers, depending on what you wanna use to color yourself in. So let's get started. I'm gonna take my black marker and I'm gonna go over to the side to this top corner over here. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go near the top, but not touching the top. See that, I'm not touching the top. Near the side, but not touching the side. And I'm gonna draw a straight line. It should kind of be the length of your finger. All right, so whatever that length of your finger is, that's how big you draw. Then I'm gonna draw some zigzag lines. I'm gonna start up here at the top and I'm gonna draw one, two, three, four, five, six lines. If you draw a couple more, or a couple less, that's up to you, but we're drawing our crown. And then when I'm at the top here, I'm gonna go down straight line until it's even with this side. And then once I have that, I'm gonna draw a line over so that my crown is all drawn. You need to kind of move your lines over, that's okay, so that they all touch together. Now you'll notice my crown is on one side of my paper, but I still have this blank space here. We're gonna fill that in later, right? See how in this picture, the crown is on one side and then we're gonna draw what our classroom looks like because we all are in different spaces right now. So for right now, make sure your crown is on one half. Then I'm gonna go over to this bottom corner where my crown is and I'm gonna draw a great big U shape. So I'm gonna go down and then I'm gonna curve and come back up and touch this corner. You may need to take your finger and practice a couple times before you draw it. Do your very best. Now, once I've done that, I'm gonna go over to the side here. I'm gonna go down a little bit and I'm gonna draw two curved lines. Those are my ears. Once I've drawn my ears, I'm gonna go across and I'm gonna draw two circles that I'm then gonna color in. Our eyes. Don't forget your eyebrows. Now, for my nose. I'm gonna go down and to the middle because that's where our nose is. We all know this. And I'm gonna draw one, two, three curved lines right like that. At least I hope your nose is right there in the middle of your face. Oof, I hope it didn't get lost. All right, last thing, once you've got your nose and your eyes and your eyebrows and your ears is your mouth. And I'm smiling because I'm so happy it's the first day of school. So I'm going to be smiling with you guys. In fact, I'm going to add a little curve right there because I have a little bit of a chubby cheek. Now, when I'm done with my face, I need to draw my neck. So in the middle, underneath of this bottom, I'm going to have two straight lines and then a curved line. And then I'm gonna draw my shoulders right like that. Now, 
Before we draw the hair, we're gonna come over here to this side and we're gonna draw our waving hand, like we're saying hello to each other. So down here at the bottom, I'm gonna actually make sure I'm right touching the bottom of this paper. I'm gonna drop one, two, three, four, five bumps. And there's my hand and it's like waving hello. Okay, draw your waving hand. And it can go as tall as you want, but remember, it's gotta to touch this bottom of the paper. Otherwise, it's gonna look like your hand is floating and is not attached to your arm. Ah! Okay, when you're done with that, we're gonna come over to our hair. Now, some of you may have really short hair. If you have really short hair, all you need to do is draw where your hairline is underneath your crown. And maybe you have really short hair and that's it. And that's all you need to draw. If you have a little bit longer hair, you can go over to the side here and you can add some hair, right? So I, for mine, I added long curly hair because I have long curly hair, okay? Maybe your hair only goes to your chin. Maybe you have short hair, but it's really poofy, right? Sometimes I had really short, poofy hair. So maybe you draw something that looks like this. Okay? It's up to you. Draw what your hair looks like. Everybody's hair is going to look different. All right. When you're done with your hair, we're ready to move on to our background. The background is everything that's happening in this space. It's what's happening behind you, right? And now we all have different backgrounds because we're all learning from home right now, but I'm pretty sure everybody has a floor, right? Do you have a floor? Okay, good. So to draw my floor and make sure my floor is separate from the walls behind me. I'm gonna draw a really straight line halfway through my paper. But look, make sure you don't go through your face. So I'm gonna go across and I'm gonna jump over my face. And I'm gonna draw the other side of that line on the other side of my face, right? And now I can see where I have my floor and I have my walls, okay? Now, this is where it gets fun and when you can draw whatever you see. Maybe you have tile floor. You can draw your tiles, right? So I'm gonna, I have tiles, so I'm gonna draw my tiles right like this. I'm gonna draw some straight lines. And then I'm gonna draw bunch of squares basically. Maybe you don't have tile, right? Not everybody has tile. Maybe you have carpet. If you have carpet, you can draw a bunch of squiggly little lines so it looks like the carpet, the texture. Maybe you have hardwood floors so you can draw lines across. Draw what your floor looks like. When you're done drawing your floor, we're gonna draw what we see behind us. This is gonna be different for everybody, right? Some of you may have a couch that you wanna draw. Maybe you guys have a table, right? So I have a table and a chair. So I'm gonna draw my chair from the side angle. Draw what you see behind you. It can be different. Everybody's is gonna be different. And I have that. Now I'm gonna draw my table. And actually, my table is gonna go behind my head, so I only have to draw part of it. You could even draw what you have on your wall. So like, do you have pictures? Do you have a window? I have a great 
big window. So I'm going to draw my window right like this. It's really big, but it's really thin. So it looks just like this. And then I'm going to draw right in the middle of it my window. We've drawn our self-portrait. The next step is to color our self-portrait. Now, here's the really big important thing I want you guys to think about. When we color, we want to color the whole page. Does that mean I only color my face? and the chair? No. Does that mean I color my face, the chair, the floor, and then I leave the walls white? No. We're going to color the whole page. First thing, let's draw, color in our face. Now everybody has different faces, right? We all have beautiful different skin tones. Some people are darker, some people have lighter skin, some people are in between. And so what we can do is whatever colors you have, you're gonna find out which one is closest to your skin color. You can even hold it next to your hand, right? And try to decide. I kind of think I'm in between this color. This is a little too light. So I'm gonna mix this color and this color together to get my skin color, okay? I'm gonna start with my lighter color. And I'm gonna start coloring in my face. And what's nice is I can just go all the way in. Remember, you wanna try to stay in your face. Should I be coloring in my hair? Nope. I'm gonna color in my face. Okay. Don't forget your ears. Don't forget your hand. Okay, I'm gonna quickly go over it a second time so that I get my skin color. Now that I've drawn in my skin, I'm gonna move on to the rest of my body. So that means I'm gonna color in my shirt and I'm gonna color my favorite shirt color. My favorite color is orange. I love the color orange. All right, from there, I'm gonna color in my crown. And before I even color it in, I'm gonna add some details. So I'm gonna draw some gemstones in my crown, because I wanna be fancy. And I'm gonna have those be green. Okay, next up is the crown. I'm going to make my crown yellow. Now, I'm done with my face. Woo, success. If you need to, stretch your hands. I like to squeeze, 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 and then let go. Ooh, relax your fingers. Okay, now we're going to do our background because remember, we're going to color the whole picture. So I'm going to start with my floor. My floor is black and gray tile. Okay, so I'm going to start coloring in my floor. Now, 
it may be a lot, right, to do all of this. So take your time, color in your floor. Okay, then I'm going to do my chair and my table. my window, outside my window, but the sky is blue. And last but not least, my wall. Now if your wall is white, maybe you want to pick another color that you wish your wall was. My wall is actually a really, really, really light, light, light yellow. When you're done, that is your self-portrait. Okay, so okay, so we have our two or self-portraits. You colored the whole thing in. I'm so impressed. All right, so here's one and two.